Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I am plucking my unit. Y'all have never seen me do a pluck on none of my wigs, but because I like this wig and because I think it can use a little plucking, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. And so she's got a lace front. She has already came with her bun like so. So this is how she came. So what I'm basically going already got her pinned down on the sides. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and pluck some front. And pluck them maybe a little bit from the sides. And then I'm um, going to go ahead and get myself together and get her on so I can show you the finished product of what she looks like on me. But you will need some tweezers. And basically, you just go in where you want, you know, to start plucking. You want your pluck, you want the, basically, the hairline of your hairline. You want the hairline on here to look natural as much as possible. Um, so, what's also going to help um, do that is when we go in and we take the eyebrow shaver and we cut this lace off so that's really going to help too so I hope you guys um if you feel like your wig needs a little plucking it ain't going to hurt for you to go ahead and do some plucking to your wig because if anything you're trying to help have your wig look natural as much as possible and so when you give your wig a little extra TLC you know She's gonna look good like like you want her to. So my hair is braided back, but I'm gonna go and re-braid it back um, over because I washed it. Try to keep my hair clean when I wear um, wigs and try to keep my wigs. That's another thing. Make sure you clean and make sure you wash your wigs. Don't just throw them on after you know, day after day after day. They need to be cleaned because if someone gets up, I ain't going to say someone, but if your boo or your man get up close to your head and that head is is smelling kind of snatchy or stinky, you might just say something. So don't be, you know, afraid to be washing your units. And I think what I'm going to do is I might just leave these little pieces these little pieces that they came hanging down like that. If not, I might just go ahead and just swoop them up and make some <clears throat> baby hair swoops. Well, because I am looking forward to really taking my time and doing what I need to do to this unit to make her, you know, look as natural as possible. So you gotta take your time and go ahead and do what you gotta do. Yes, I have a dummy head that way. She ain't going nowhere. She pinned down on there. And we wanna go ahead and do what we gotta do. I went out to the stores today just, you know, to get my pins, but I was just looking to see what kind of hair, what kind of wigs they got out there. And you know, I'm starting to gear towards red, really. Like a um a red, not a bright red, but maybe like a maroon red. You know, I'm really looking at those colors because I want to be, uh, you know, trying something, a different color. Besides my average, you know, black. And then every now and then you see me in a, in a blonde or um, a dirty blonde or something like that color with my wigs. So, but... Make sure you are taking care of your hair underneath your wigs because if you're not taking care of your hair, you're not taking care of your edges, um, you know, just to throw in a wig is really not healthy, you know, because your hair is not healthy underneath. So make sure you are keeping your hair washed and conditioned and in protective styles if you're using a wig. You know, I know we could get um, real... Okay, lazy and might not be wanting to 
do um, protect the styles on our waist, but we need to. Okay, so in the back of her, let me put her down so you can see. This is her back of her hair. That's a you know, little hair to have. And that, if you're going to wear it up, then this is what it's going to look like down. So make sure you take care of this part in the back down. Make sure you take a little brush or something like that. And just keep that those pieces of hair down. So it looks more natural than ever before. So I'm going to get back to my plucking. I'm going to do another uh, video of the finished product of the plucking and the the lace being cut off and applied to my hair and basically I got glue so I'm going to be um, got to be glue and I got um, adhesive spray so that's how I'm going to tame her onto my hair with a wig cap on so I probably show you that process but right now the process is snatching these <laughs> edges of this big cap so she looks natural. Okay guys, I'll be back with the finished product of what she looks like when she's applied to my head. Okay.